last week you had said that the only way to learn pitchers is to catch them, to get behind the, the plate and catch them. I know it's really early on here, but is there one, maybe two specific examples in the bullpen sessions, anything like that, of something that you've learned from any of these pitchers so far? Um, well, one, one thing that I, I've learned is, uh, you know, Jacob deGrom is, is unreal. Um, you know, being a different division my whole career, really, I mean, I see him once every three years, whatever, whatever it is that we match up. Uh, so everything I, I know about him is via highlights and, 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 you know, hearing from what other guys say about facing him. Uh, but actually getting to be in on his bullpens and, and hear him speak um, and seeing how intentional he is with, with every little detail, uh, I've been really impressed with, with that aspect. Um, someone else that's really stuck out to me is, is uh, Peterson. And, um, you know, he's, he wants to learn. He wants to be great. He wants to, to be the best that he can possibly be. Um, and then obviously he, he's got good stuff too, but uh, just hearing him talk and hearing him ask questions and, and uh, the way he goes about his business, it, it's been a lot of fun to, to be involved in those conversations. You've made adjustments on both sides of the ball over the last couple of years that, that have really allowed your career to take off the way that it has. Uh, specifically, we'll start with defense. What changes have you made that you feel have really taken you to that next level defensively? Just being able to work with, with pitchers and, uh, you know, game calling and understanding, understanding the analytics, understanding the numbers, but also being able to trust my eyes and trust, uh, you know, what a hitter's telling us. Um, as far as like the framing metrics and things like that, I'm a bigger guy and uh, my, my glove was a little bit too high in my setup. My body was a little bit too high in my setup and finding a way to get to get you know lower and to, to work underneath the ball. Offensively, you told a fascinating story recently about Al Kaline and how he said that um, it would take 1,500 at-bats in the minors and 1,500 bats in the majors to really get a sense of who you are as a hitter. Um, it, did that ring true for you? Is there a moment, is there something that you feel like um, got you to the point where you understood what you then had to do to be a successful hitter in the major leagues? Yeah, I really do. Um, you know, I, I feel like I, I've, I've reached a point in my career where, um, you know, I, I know who I am as a hitter um, and I know, I know what my thought processes have to be to have success. Now, does that mean that I'm not going to make a tweak here and there? You know, no, absolutely not. That that's part of the game is um, you constantly are making adjustments. Uh, but the overall idea of who I am as a hitter, um, it's it's not going to change. I'm I'm a guy that has to stay to, to the middle of the field. I have to stay the big part of the field, and and be okay with taking a, a ground ball line drive base hit in the four hole. Um, you know, that's that's who I am as a hitter and. Uh, as soon as I get away from that is when I, I try and do too much and I end up getting too long with my swing and, and um, you know, not being able – and I'm not consistent in, in that type of, a, of, a, of an approach. So when you look at what you've been able to do offensively over the last couple of seasons, is it really um, basically at its core a mental switch, an understanding, or were there also some mechanical adjustments that you have made – that you know allowed you to put that into practice a little bit better. Yeah, no, there there were some some mechanical adjustments that uh, that happened, um, and it all just kind of timed up with that that approach. Um, but I, I opened up my stance, I, I lowered my hands and, and put them a little bit closer to launch position, so there was there was less of a uh, of a move of a loading mechanism, um, which helped me you know be on time more. Um, yes yeah, so there was there were some mechanical things and there were some some approach you know based things but uh, I think it, it, it really kind of took both things to to get to where I where I have been the last couple of years given everything this team has done what do you feel like a, a proper expectation is for this group going into this season what team doesn't expect to be in the World Series at, at, at this point in the season so you know I, I think obviously World Series um, but I've, I've been around enough to understand um, how difficult it is to get to the playoffs. And I've been around long enough to understand that it's a, uh, you got to win every day type mentality. 
Um, so I really think that if, if this team goes about our business the right way and we focus on, on each day for, for what it is, uh, I think at the end of the year we, we look up and, and we're right in the thick of things. I think that we have the ability to, to, to play very deep into October and, and, and challenge for, for the World Series.